Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Contour Shuttle Pro, which is a device used to map keyboard shortcuts on a computer. Essentially what this is used for, it's to help you maximize your time in the editing process or content creation. Uh, this device has been around for a very long time. I've not used one of these prior, so this is going to be my first endeavor with it. If you take a look at the device, you're going to notice it has 15 different buttons that you can program onto it to help with keyboard shortcuts. And in this case, I'm going to be using it with Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve 15. And you'll also notice there's this nice customized wheel here that allows us to jog back and forth. We're hopefully going to use this for scrubbing the video. And then we've got this other wheel here that keeps going infinitely and this will help us with keyframes. So uh, this device is approximately $99 through uh, Amazon or Sweetwater. Uh, you can see that's made out of plastic. The wheel is rubberized to give you a nice feel for it. It lays flat on the desk. That way you can save more space. And it has these nice pads on the bottom that help stick to the surface so it doesn't slide all over when you're using it. The device comes with some labels that you can actually punch out and put in here for pre-designated commands such as play, stop, uh, create, record, or they give you some blank ones so when you program your own you can put those in there as well. I don't think I'm going to be using the uh, pre-designed ones because I'm going to be creating my own probably for some custom mapping. So let's go ahead and look at this and see if this is actually going to save us time or if it's going to be more cumbersome. So the first thing I did is I went to the Contour website and I'm actually going to download the latest drivers. Uh, they do give you the disk in there. However, I'm not really sure if it's up to date. So this is going to be the easiest way for me. And on the page, there's something called downloadable settings. And on the page, there's something called downloadable settings. What this is is a database that has every program that this has already been programmed to be used with. Now, as I said, because the drivers on here may not be the most uh, up to date on the disk, the driver disk itself comes with these already preloaded. However, these are modified from time to time, and if a new version of the program comes out, these are modified. So you will need to download the latest version of these if it's not working correctly. I've already went ahead and did that. Now, here's the software itself. It's called the Contour Shuttle Device Configuration. This is a program that runs independently in the background. If we come up here to application settings, what we're going to see is this has every single program that was already listed on the settings page. And for today's purpose, we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve to start off with. And there it is. This is what it's going to look like. I don't have to load this in manually each time. What this is going to allow me to do, though, it's going to allow me to do two things. One, it's going to allow me to see what this is already configured to. So, for example, up here under user action, if I drop down and I say, hey, button five, I want to look at, it's going to tell me button five. It's going to highlight it on the controller, which is right here. Now, it's also going to tell me what the comment is. The comment is what the actual button is doing. In this case, it's, it's pre-programmed to do the previous edit. The second thing this is going to allow you to do is if you do not like these settings, you can actually readjust them and you can program it. I'm going to leave it as default for right now, but I can tell later on I'm going to go back and I'm going to change some of these for commands that I use on a frequent basis. Now I'm in DaVinci Resolve and uh, if I look at DaVinci Resolve, I have a basic video up here. I just want to chop up, do some editing. Uh, this is an older video that I've already done. This is a, the one that I did about editing the thigh for the movable action figure. Uh, and we're going to see if this actually works. So I'm going to play the video and I just, according to the manual, this button right here, which I don't have labeled yet, it is actually supposed to stop. So we're going to see if it actually, if, if I play it, does it stop it? Create a circle, so the video is playing. If I hit this, this is actually K for the keyboard shortcut. It's going to stop, so that works. The next thing I actually want to test out is I want to test out the scrub feature. Now the scrub feature is for this playhead right here. So I can go back, if I take this edge right across like this, approximately 15 meter, it'll allow me to go nice purple. and easy with the playhead. Now this supposedly is already pre-programmed to let me go ahead and use this wheel here to scrub either back in time or forward in time. So let's see if it works. And indeed it does. And the more I turn the wheel, the faster it goes. So the other way, 
we're going to so that actually works circle. pretty well i'm impressed with that it's it's nice and fluid i wasn't expecting it to be so fluid uh, of course this is all dependent upon your computer that you're using as well now i'm going to focus next on this feature right here this other wheel this other wheel should have the ability to let me do keyframes so i can do one frame at a time and it indeed does if you look at my counter over here for my frames you can see I can do that nice and easily. I can go up, go down, I can play it. Now this button right here should enable me to go backwards. If I wanted to play it backwards, indeed it does play backwards. And I hit that button right there to stop it. Now this button right here, button 5, should take us back home. When I click it, it should take us automatically to the beginning of the timeline. And indeed it does. This button right here, button 9, should take us to the very end of the timeline. So I can make a quick jump. Let's see if it works. Yes, indeed, that does work. So that's kind of nice. Now, one of the features that I really need to have on here is I need to be able to make a quick edit on this. So let's see if I can make a quick edit. Add my mark in. And repeat the same process to all the others. So my mark in and my mark out definitely work for me, which is good. They're already pre-programmed. All right, so now I've got my mark in and mark out if I want to do that. But uh, I'd like to actually be able to cut this clip, and I want to be able to do that quickly. Let's see if the button up here, this should be button uh, 3. Button 3 is programmed automatically to, to uh, split the clip. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. I can split that clip, and I can keep them going. So at the end of this, we're left with the question, does the Contour Shuttle Pro version 2 actually work? The answer is a resounding yes. It works extremely well for this application, and I imagine it would work really well for any other application that you want to use. So I would highly recommend this product. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.